afternoon, Bob Dalton coming to you live from Allendale's Trading Floor here in McHenry, Illinois. It is Monday, November 28th, 2011. Uh, welcome back from those of you who may have taken last week off. I hope everybody had a safe and uh, very happy Thanksgiving. Now we get back to work here uh, in the commodity markets, uh, and we opened up. Uh, with some excitement here. Uh, Black Friday numbers coming in about 6.5% higher than they were last year. So apparently uh, uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, economy has found some disposable income that they're willing to uh, spend and go out and specifically do it the, the Friday after Thanksgiving. Uh, we also had news this morning that uh, an Italian newspaper was reporting that a deal had been put together through the IMF to uh, help bail out Italy. Uh, we haven't had any... Uh, any uh, uh, confirmation of that uh, type of situation occurring. And as a matter of fact, the IMF has denied that they have any type of solution put together yet. But all in all, it was enough to get the market excited. Crude oil up significantly, $4 at one point overnight, and the dollar pulling back uh, as well. Those were some macro indicators that we should see higher commodity prices here today in the U.S. markets. When it was all said and done, we did hold on to gains for the most part uh, in the grain specifically, although we were off our highs. Uh, no real technical uh, damage done to the charts. If we have a second day of buying uh, tomorrow uh, and, and we see more of a follow-up Tuesday than a turnaround Tuesday, uh, then we could see these the, these uh, charts start to get a little more positive for us. But as it sits right now, Dees Corn uh, closed up nine and a quarter on the day at 591 and three quarters. Uh, you got your soybeans at 1121. That was up 14 and a half today. Uh, wheat only up a quarter of a point uh, off of its highs by a decent jaunt. Uh, D Chicago wheat 574 and three quarters at settlement. Uh, the dollar still lower. We're down 42 points on the day at 79.41. You have crude oil up a dollar nine right now. It's about three dollars off of its high. Uh, but uh, up a dollar nine nonetheless at 97.86 in the electronic market. Over to the livestock, we did see cattle open up higher. We actually gapped higher against uh, uh, Friday's charts uh, today and uh, did go down, fill the gaps. Uh, December finished off 15 cents on the day, down 15 at 120.95. We did have some stronger cash sales last week, uh, so we're looking to see what the cash markets bring for uh, uh, the cattle market this week. Uh, but again, we were up about a buck last week. We'll see what we can bring here uh, as we open up the week more or less steady uh, after today's pricing action. Feeder cattle up 10 cents, 144.72 and a half. That's where the January contract finished up. And then hogs in December uh, down 75 cents at 87.55. Uh, for those of you trading cattle, remember Friday is uh, option expiration and then Monday is first notice day. Uh, for December fats. So if you have any questions or, or need to discuss what we should be doing with December cattle, feel free to give us a call. Uh, conference information is available through Allendale on our website or by calling in and speaking with a broker. Uh, they have deals coming in and out on a week-to-week -week basis here as far as price discounts or prize opportunities. So give us a call if you have interest in the, in the uh, conference, January 20th and 21st of 2012. Uh, seats are going fast, so if you are interested in joining us, give us a call at 800-262-7538, or you can sign up on the web, www.allendale-inc.com. That will do it for me uh, this week here on the recording. Thanks for tuning in. My name again is Bob Dalton, and good luck trading this week.